so you finally decided to choose Octane. But you don't know where to start. Well, luckily in this video, we are going to be downloading, installing and setting up Blender Octane for the first time. So without further ado, let's begin the video. So we basically need to go to our browser of choice. Mine is going to be Microsoft Edge and I'm going to go into Google and type in Blender Octane. And I'll come over here to Otoy's website. And this might sound like a bit confusing at first, but this is like the only way you can get Blender Octane right now. So you're going to come over here to free trial and go into Octane Render Prime. There is a paid version, but I don't use it, but this is the one that I use. So I'll just come over here and click on try now. Now it will ask you to make an account. Since I already have one, I'll just sign in and then it will take you to this page. But before this, there's actually going to be another page where it's going to be asking you to accept all of the terms and conditions. Just click on I agree and move on. And as soon as you get over here, you actually need to download these two things, the Octane Server Prime and Blender Octane Render Edition. And depending on your system that you're using, it can be Linux PC, it can be Mac OS or it can be Windows. Since I'm using a Windows machine right now, I'll just download these two. So let's just quickly do that. Okay, now since we got both of these downloaded, we are actually going to be installing the Octane Server Prime first. And then we're going to be installing Blender Octane Edition. So let's just quickly do that. And finish. And now we're going to be installing the Blender Octane Edition. So install, install, boom. I mean, you could always change the directory wherever you want to put it, but I usually like to keep everything organized and to the file destinations that are already pre-assigned. I mean, besides my games, I obviously put them in a separate folder, but for like softwares and stuff, I always just put them into C program files. Okay, so let's open up Octane Server Prime now. And obviously it's not going to show up immediately. What we need to do is come over here and double click on it and click on activate. So now it's basically going to be asking for your account. So let me just put that in over here. So yeah, now we got that running and if you're doing this for the first time, what actually is going to be happening, it's going to be downloading the whole Octane kernel on your PC. So yeah, give it some time. I already have installed it. So yeah, that's why that didn't appear. So moving on, let me just close that. Now we'll go to Blender Octane. So let me just open it up. Okay, so I'll take all of this, delete and the first thing that we'll need to do is go to edit preferences and we'll come over here to add-ons and search for Octane. So we'll have to enable this and also what we need to do is specify a location over here which is going to be for um which is actually going to be for the DB library that we're going to be using a lot over here. So let me just enlarge it a bit. So let's just do that. I already made a folder over here. So yeah, accept and texture cache folder. It should be the same as well. So I'll just go to this boom. This Octane's default color management. And yeah, I think that's about it. And we'll go to options, save preferences. Now let's see how we can make the kernel over here. So I'll just split this in half and go to... First of all, we'll just come over here to Octane and we'll go to Octane kernel. And then we'll add a quick node tree over here. 
and by default it always adds in the direct lighting path so we'll just delete that we'll go to shift a s for search and we're going to be typing in path tracing kernel so i'll just plug this in and why do we use the path tracing kernel because this gives us the most realistic results so yeah here it is and it's working properly now coming to like setting up hdris how do we do that in octane because if you're coming from cycles it's going to be a bit different but similar at the same time so i'll just delete that and go shift a and type in in environment texture environment and i'll plug it in into octane environment and then i'll add in an rgb image so let's just quickly load up an hdri over here exr and for this example i'm going to be using the studio hdri that i've used in a lot of my projects over here so i'll just quickly plug it in and as we could see it looks good but it's not like too good so what we're going to be doing is putting the legacy gamma to one so remember one thing whatever texture you're using if it's not an albedo the legacy gamma should be one since we are done with that what you could do is you could also set it up as like a startup file so you don't have to do it every time but since i do live streams and i want everyone to follow along i always do it from scratch so i cannot do that but if you want to make it as a starter file just go to edit defaults save as starter file so yeah that's about it so yeah guys i hope you guys have downloaded blender octane now and you are also using it by the way i also do live streams almost every day at this point where i teach people how to make animations in blender octane so if you're interested in that hit that subscribe button and if you guys have any sort of suggestions like we should animate this this or this do let me know in the comments below but for until then i'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next live stream or the video until then god bless you all and your families see you around guys bye bye